Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I found something pretty dang cool. I found some software called NVIDIA Broadcast. And as you can see from me, I um, it's my silhouette. It's almost like I'm sitting in front of a green screen. And let me tell you, there is no green screen. This is all done within the software or the hardware of the GPU, sorry. It's, uh, to be honest, I don't know how it does it. Don't really understand it, <laughs> but let me tell you, it is so dang cool. I mean, I'll, let me uh, let me get into the circle here, and we'll uh, I'll show you some pretty cool effects. Oh man, I'm gonna have to take that. What am I gonna drop? We're gonna have to take that. No, we're gonna take that. Okay, let's get out of here. So, yeah, this software is free from Nvidia. From my understanding, you do need to have either a GTX or an RTX card to run it, and it's pretty smooth, not going to lie. I mean, you do sacrifice a little bit of frame rate, but it's not that bad. Like, losing a couple frames for some pretty rad effects is well worth it in my opinion. So, let me show you this. Let me uh, Let me hide my guy up here behind a tree. So check it out, okay? I'm going to go to my other screen here. I'm going to open up NVIDIA Broadcast. You can't see it because my background is blurred out, but let's say let's say you want to have your background in your video, but you don't want to have it completely visible. Well, you just do this. Check it out. Ready, set. Look at that. Literally one click. How cool is that? And that's not even the coolest bit. There's all kinds of filters for audio filters, speaker filters, everything. So check this out. Let me go to another one. Let's go background replacement. You can pretty much put whatever the heck you want in the background. So I just did some screen captures and recorded a little bit of footage and put it on loop. So I'm going to show you what I made here. So let me go background replacement. You want stars? You're flying in the galaxy. Check it out. No, no, okay? You don't want stars. You want something a little bit brighter? Let's go with this guy here. Let's check it out. What? Right? What? Done inside everything. No, there's no green screen behind me. You've seen that when I switched it there. Check it out. There is no green screen. There is nothing here. This is all done through the hardware and software. Like, bloody amazing. And I... I, I've been wanting to try something different on my channel, and I was going to do something completely different. I thought, you know what, I'm going to give this a try. I want to... I did have a few issues, you can see, around me, around my edges. Um, I think that's due to my lighting. I'm going to have to do a bit of research and figure out how to clean up those edges. But overall, man, like, it's so dang cool. Like, let me get out of here. Holy cow. For free. It's free. I should have said that too. It's all free from NVIDIA. Like, amazing. So, I, I thought I wasn't going to make a video on it, but then I started playing with it, and I was like, oh my gosh. You, you gotta use this. So, like I said, it does hurt your frame rate a little bit, but I think it would be best suited for like um, tutorials and stuff like that. If you were going to do any sort of competitive playing, I wouldn't recommend it because I am noticing a little bit of delay. Like I can see myself delaying a little bit there, but that's, I mean, that can be expected. There's a lot of stuff. I can just imagine how the system is uh, running and it's just, I'm blown away that everything's done the click of a button. So I did have to wear a toque. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a toque and I'm inside. Well, when I was wearing my hat, the brim of my hat, was creating some weird ghosting effect. Like you can see around my silhouette right now, there's that shadowing. Well, that was 100 times worse when I was wearing a hat. And I don't know if that's due to shadows, like, you know, being drawn on my face. I'm not sure, but uh, it was definitely a lot worse. So I um, threw a toque on and it's been pretty good. I mean, it's not perfectly clear, but also it's free. There's no green screen. There's... How do you complain at something that's so simple to use, right? So, yeah, all in all, if you're uh, if you're into content creating or you know live streaming and you're not doing any sort of competitive play, definitely recommend giving this a try because it is good. I haven't noticed any 
major input delay. There is a little bit, but that could also be my um, encoding because I am running, shouldn't affect it, but I am running that NVENC from NVIDIA. So NVENC and then the um, NVIDIA broadcast. Maybe that's a lot going on for it. I don't really know, but all in all, definitely a 10 out of 10 for this, guys. It's like super, super easy to work, easy to set up. Literally, I downloaded it. You add your camera in, and then I went into my Streamlabs and added the camera as a source and you add it as the source would be uh nvidia broadcast software is the source then make sure you match your oh yeah that's one thing make sure you match your frame rate so if your uh webcam is a uh, 60 fps make sure you match that in the software and then again as well on the um oh that was bad i didn't even see that guy okay whatever but um Make sure you match your software for, or sorry, your FP, make sure you match your FPS to the input and the output. Otherwise you'll get some crazy, crazy ghosting, but I can't believe I couldn't even aim at that guy. That was pretty bad. <laughs> Whatever. I wasn't here to win a game. I was here to try it in a game and talk to you guys about it. So I'm going to end this here. I'm going to uh, start setting up for my live stream later on this evening. So if you want, drop by say hi play a match with me i'm going to be playing some with some subscribers and followers today so until then have yourself a good day and we'll see you later